<laughs> oh, wow. You know, pretty awesome, pretty exciting to hear that the BC NDP decided to grant the two-year deferral against old growth logging that the Pachita did it at Huyat Nations asked for. You know, what an awesome step in the right direction and for respecting Indigenous sovereignty. Yet, would any of this really have happened if public pressure wasn't so high at Ferry Creek right now? I mean, the Squamish Nation just recently requested for BC to halt old growth logging on their traditional lands, and that's a lot of territory, you know, so we'll see what happens there. And then both the hereditary and council leadership of the Kwakuto, they've had an outright ban on old growth logging on their territory for over 12 years now, yet industry just keeps charging forward logging as it always had. Oh, and then up north, you know, the Gitsan, they've been asking for deferrals and different practices on their lands for ages, and they recently went as far as to install a gate on their land to keep industry out, but the government's currently trying to remove it because, you know, of course, it's an unlawful gate. Oh, and then there's the new Chatla, you know, who've been fighting for years to get back control over their unceded territory that's been decimated by industry after they were, you know, removed from it. And they're now going to court against the BC government over the issue. So while this decision at Ferry Creek is a step in the right direction, was it really a decision or was it more of just a socially provoked publicity stunt in order to attempt to dismantle the whole Ferry Creek thing by playing the good guy here? I'll tell you what, it sure would be really great to see John Horgan and the BC NDP honor this action and grant that same respect to all the other indigenous nations across BC who have been asking for years that industry stop destroying their lands against their will and to put a moratorium on old growth logging throughout the province so that we can all take the time to think and talk as a society and form a plan with how to manage these remaining fragments of forest instead of allowing it all to be logged away as we take our time, you know, talking about what to do. So give John a call at 250 387 1715 and let's hold him to his integrity here.